Hello students, we are solving the IB Math A AGL past paper questions and now we are solving the IB Math A AGL May 2021 paper 2 time zone 1 past paper questions. Today we will be solving the question number 3. You will be getting the solutions to the previous questions in the description area. You will be getting the link to the playlist. So without any further delay, we we'll start with the today's session. Question number three, it contains five mark and it says a ferris wheel with diameter 110 meters rotates at a constant speed. The lowest point on the wheel is 10 meters above the ground as shown in the following diagram. So over here, this is 10 meters that you are being able to see. And the P is a point on the wheel. This is the point P and the wheel starts moving with P at the lowest point. Means when the time is equal to zero, P is over here and completes one revolution in 20 minutes. Okay. So they are saying a height H meters of P above the ground after T minutes is given by H of T equal to A cos B T plus C, where A, B, C are real numbers. Find the values of A, B, and C. Fine. Now, what are A, B, and C? Uh, it is, uh, okay, first of all, it is a variation of the cosine function. Let us, first of all, is the cosine, cosine function graph. I can sketch the cosine function graph over here. Okay. okay let me take this. This is zero. This is one. This is minus one. This may be pi by two. This is pi. This is 3 pi by 2. And this is 2 pi. I'm taking up to 2 pi because the periodicity of a cosine function is 2 pi. y equals cos x. I'm sketching y equals cos x. So at x equal to 0, cos 0 is 1. Then cos pi by 2 is 0. Cos pi is negative 1 cos 3 pi by 2 is 0 and cos 2 pi is positive 1. So, now I have to connect the points. The sum out of this shape. And this is y equals cos x graph. And we are seeing this is this is y and this is a. We are seeing that the cos x graph is starting from the highest point. When x equal to 0, cos x is 1. That is the maximum. The function is having its maximum value when x equal to 0 at the starting point. Over here, it is not x, it is t. So, x will be equal to t and y is the h, h of t. If you have to sketch this graph, h of t will be plotted on the, along the x axis, uh, sorry, y axis and the t values will be plotted along the x axis. Okay, fine. So, now, okay, what do these letters mean? E is the vertical stretch. For general function, the uh, actually the y equals cos x graph has undergone a series of transformations to come to this form. And E is the vertical stretch with relation to the trigonometric function graphs. E represents the amplitude. E is the horizontal stretch. Again, with respect to the trigonometric function graphs, P manages or modifies the periodicity of the function graph or the function. 
and C is the vertical translation. With respect to the trigonometric function graphs, C represents the principal axis. That means the midpoint of the graph. For y equals cos x, the x axis is the principal axis. The graph moves up and down equally around the principal axis. It moves one unit above and it comes down by one unit for y equals cos x graph. Okay. So now we have to find the values of a, b, and c for the y equals cos x. Obviously, a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to 0. But we have to get the a, b, c values for this case. Well, first of all, since a is the amplitude, first of all, let us get the, uh, the age of t, the minimum value of the function graph, and the maximum value of the function graph. Age of t minimum. What is the minimum height above the ground? It is, of course, equal to 10 meters. And what is maximum height? It will be the diameter plus the 10. This is 110 plus 10, which is 120 meters. Okay. So we know what is what will be the amplitude. The amplitude will be maximum minus minimum the y values, not the x values. In fact, the x values do not have any maximum minimum. The y values for y values you have the maximum minimum. In this case, the if they are not the y values, they are rather the heights. So the maximum height is 120, minimum height is 10. Therefore, we subtract. 120 minus 10 divided by 2. 110 divided by 2 is 55. You could have just got the radius 110 divided by 2. 110 is the diameter, so the radius. If you cannot think of the radius to be the amplitude, don't have to. You know this is the general rule. You take the maximum y value, you take the minimum y value, you, do, you Get the subtraction, you do the subtraction, get the difference and divide by 2 to get the amplitude. So we have done exactly the same thing. But will it be 55? No, it will not be 55. Why not? Because for this graph y equals cos x, the function value is maximum when x equal to 0. But what is the h value when t equal to 0? When t equal to 0 means at the starting point, the Point P, because we are interested in the position of the point P. So the point P is at this lowest point. So the if we graph this age of T for point P, the graph will be starting from the lowest value, the minimum value, that is 10 meters. Therefore, instead of starting from the highest value, that is the that is the nature of the cosine function graph. It is starting from the lowest value. What makes it start from the lowest value? How to get the plus one come to this minus one point? We have to reflect. We have to reflect in the x-axis. That means the graph is getting reflected in the x-axis. And what is the reflection in the f uh, in the x-axis? How can it be denoted? It is f of x to negative f of x. This is the reflection in the x-axis. The f of x, that is the y values, we change to negative y value. Plain and simple. So therefore, this 55 is the height, that is the y value. So we will not be having positive 55, rather we will be having negative 55 as the A value. This is important. Don't write 55, you will be losing mass. It is negative 55. Almost every time you see a Ferris wheel question, every time they start with the lowest point. So uh, 
most of the time it will be a equal to negative 55 but i'm not saying every time because if the question is just changed a little and if the point is starting from its highest point then everything and you just write a negative now negative sign in front then you'll be going wrong so just read what is the question saying okay so this is the value of a now we come to the value of c which is the principal axis which will be the average between the highest point and the lowest point therefore we have to add the two so 120 plus 10 over 2 120 plus 10 is 130 over 2 which is equal to 65 okay and what is remaining b b is the horizontal stretch it affects the periodicity of the function graph or the function expression so how does it modify the periodicity 2 pi by b will be the periodicity and what is the periodicity in this case the wheel completes one revolution in 20 minutes so this is the periodicity 2 pi by b is equal to 20. Therefore, b is equal to 2 pi by 20, which is equal to pi by 10. Okay. So now we are in a position to write the values. E is equal to negative 55. B is equal to pi by 10. And C is equal to 65. Okay. So students. This brings us to the end of this session because we have completely solved question number three. And thank you for staying with me till the end. We will be meeting tomorrow again and we will be solving question number four of the same paper. And if you are interested, I have decided to start online group online math tutoring sessions for IB Math A, SL and HL students. And those will be starting from the month of July. So if you are interested in having in attending the group online sessions, you may contact me. You are seeing the my email address and uh, the my phone number, everything are being flashed. So you may contact me, you may mail me, you may text me if you are interested. Okay. So bye for now.